Hey, it's John. Welcome back to another video. Today I have some new smart home accessories which I'm excited to talk to you about. I've had some fun playing around with these so far and I'll show you how to make some cool automations later on in the video. This is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. I'll put the text somewhere and I'll have timestamps in the description below. What are the benefits of having a smart home? Well, one of the benefits of having a smart home is actually having greater control over your electricity. So you can have apps to turn on and turn off at certain times. You can perhaps dim them so they're not always on 100%. Especially with the rising price of electricity, this could be super beneficial towards you. Also there's convenience, you can manage your whole home just from your phone, while well, most of your electrical appliances. Uh, for example, if you're out and about in town and you remembered you left some lights on, you can just open your app and turn it off. Automation is probably my favorite bit. You can set up so many awesome things, lights turning on at certain times, trigger actions when something else happens, and you can just go really, really deep with this. Even turning on the lights when you're away so people think you're home, so burglars are less likely to burgle you, which brings me to security. You can get motion sensors and cameras. You get notified if anyone comes into an area that is noticed by the motion sensor, or same with cameras, you can see visually if people are creeping on your property when they shouldn't be. Why I chose Acara? Well, originally I was looking at Philips Hue because I already have a Philips Hue hub with my lights, so it made sense for me to upgrade that. But when I was looking for things, mainly a motion sensor I wanted, it was 40 pounds, which is really expensive, and I definitely couldn't fork out spending all that money to constantly be upgrading my Philips Hue bridge. So I went out of my way to look for another good company that had the same smart home benefits. It must include Apple HomeKit and was at a good price, which is how I find Acara. I've seen them about on different YouTube videos, I've seen them on Amazon, and they always look like a good deal and always spoken quite highly of. I thought I would give them a go myself, which is why I bought them. Which brings me to what I'm using them for. I only have one motion sensor right now and I've been having a lot of fun with it. My original idea is to have a motion sensor in my hallway to trigger the light bulb in there. Because my hallway doesn't actually have any windows, it's dark. Ideally, at night time, when I wake up in the middle of the toilet for a wee, the light will, motion sensor will detect me and turn the light on really dimly just so I can see my way around. Especially if guests are staying, they can comfortably walk through and find their way. That also during the day I can change it so that it actually turns on brighter and it's not 100% all the time. Therefore I can actually save money on my electricity bill because it's not 100%. Also I can put a timer on it so it turns off after a certain amount of time. Also I've been having a lot of fun with it, hiding it around the house. So when my flatmate walks past it, or my girlfriend goes in my snack drawer, Alex will shout, Oi, get away from my snacks, or something funny like that. You can do all sorts of actions, and I'll show you how to set these up later in this video. How to set it up. First of all, you'll need the app, which you can get from the App Store. Can I just add here, while I was recording the App Store, there's another update to this app, which is a really good sign, because they are constantly pushing out firmware updates, app updates, which means they're trying to make the products better and better, even the old ones you previously purchased. Some other companies won't do this. Then once you've downloaded that and created an account, you can plug your hub in. Thankfully for me, I have the hub that has a USB port, which is perfect because I can plug this straight into my router, which means I don't need any extra plug sockets or anything for that. And it's in the center of my house. So it has the best position for the most range I can get in the property. Setting up the motion sensor is pretty straightforward as well. Once you have all the apps set up and you've got your bridge set up too, you can just open the top of the flap here and there's a little QR code. If you scan that when adding an accessory, it'll automatically set it all up and add it to your Apple HomeKit as well. With the HomeKit, if you can't see your devices right away, you can try going to Profile, selecting HomeKit and tapping Name Synchronization to encourage talking between the devices. For the Alexa, you need to have the Alexa skill enabled for it to communicate with the Acara. Open the Acara app and go to Smart Speaker. Then select Alexa and here you can follow a link to the Alexa app where you can enable the skill. Or in the Alexa app, you can go to More, Skills and Games and search for the Acara skill. This is the skill you need to enable. You can see that I've already set it up. Interactions with the HomeKit and the Alexa, this is the fun stuff, this is the bit you probably want to look forward to and it's definitely the bit that I've had the most fun with. I'm going to show you how to set up a quick little alarm so like if someone's stealing my snacks, I can get Alexa to shout at them. 
First of all, in the app, we need to go to all devices and create a routine. Or you can go to more routines and tap the plus in the top right, we can create a routine. Let's give it a name. Go into when this happens, smart home, and select the motion sensor. We want it to go off when it detects motion. Now let's add an action. Volume to 10. And create an action of Alexa speaking. I'm going to select the living room speaker. Save it. Actually, I'm going to turn this off so Alexa isn't screaming at me. I want to hide the sensor before I enable it. Cool, let's enable it. Get out of my snack drawer. How awesome is that? You could set up as many actions as you want. You can get it to play music. You can get it to turn the lights on and off. You get it to say anything you want. You get so many possibilities with it. And it's pretty fun. This is more of a quality of life thing for me where I'd like the sensor to detect me moving and turn lights on and off. What I did was in the home app, add a new automation for when the motion sensor detects movement. I set this to at night, which means from sunset to sunrise. Selected my hallway light and put it on 1%. It also turns itself off after one minute, so it's not wasting electricity. I did the same thing, but for during the day too, but set the brightness to 70%. Also, this brings me back to saving money on electricity, especially with the increase in electricity recently in the UK. That pretty much covers everything I've got to show you today. It'd be awesome to see what you guys can make. If you have any ideas of what I could possibly make, please let me know. Also, we're so close to 3000 subscribers. So if any of you could help me out, I'd really appreciate that. And I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.